Danish overseas colonies and pre Dano Norwegian colonies Norwegian, Denmark Norges Kolonier denotes the colonies that Denmark Norway Denmark alone after 1814 possessed from 1536 until 1953. At its apex, the colonies spanned four continents Europe, North America, Africa, and Asia. The period of colonial expansion marked a rise in the status and power of Danes and Norwegians in the Union. Being the hegemon of Denmark Norway or the Statsfaderlande lit. State Fatherland, Denmark is where the Union's monumental palaces are now located and Copenhagen, today the capital of Denmark, was the city which both Norway and Denmark came to establish as their capital. Much of the Norwegian population moved to find work in Copenhagen, attend the university, or join the royal fleet. In the 17th century, following territorial losses on the Scandinavian peninsula, Denmark-Norway began to develop colonies, forts, and trading posts in West Africa, the Caribbean, and the Indian subcontinent. After 1814, when Norway was ceded to Sweden following the Napoleonic Wars, Denmark retained what remained of Norway's great medieval colonial holdings. Christian IV first initiated the policy of expanding Denmark-Norway's overseas trade, as part of the mercantilist wave that was sweeping Europe. Denmark-Norway's first colony was established at Trankbar on India's southern coast in 1620. Admiral Ove Jed led the expedition that established the colony. Today, the only remaining vestiges are two originally Norwegian colonies that are currently within the Danish realm, the Faroe Islands and Greenland. The Faroes were a Danish county until 1948, while Greenland's colonial status ceased in 1953. They are now autonomous countries of the Kingdom of Denmark with home rule, in a relationship referred to as the unity of the realm. Topic. Overview Africa Denmark maintained several trading stations and four forts along the Gold Coast in West Africa, especially around modern-day Ghana. Three trading stations were built, Fort Fredericksborg, K. Pompo, Osu Castle by Accra in 1661, that was purchased from Sweden, and Fredericksburg. The forts were Fort Princensen built in 1784, Fort Augustaborg from 1787, Fort Fredensborg and Fort Kongenstein, several of which are ruins today. Of these, two are still in existence, the Osu Castle, and the Christianborg Castle, which used to be the residence of Ghanaian presidents. Plantations were established by Fredericksborg, but they failed. Fort Christianborg became the base for Danish power in West Africa, and the centre for slave trade to the Danish West Indies. In 1807, Denmark's African business partners were suppressed by the Akan people subgroup Ashanti, which led to the abandonment of all trading stations. Denmark sold its forts to the United Kingdom in 1850. List Fort Fredensborg Ningo, 1734 March 1850 Fort Christianborg, Accra, Osu, 1658 April 1659, 1661 December 1680, February 1683 to 1693, 1694 to 1850. Fort Augustaborg, Teshi, 1787 March 1850. Fort Prinzenstein, Kita, 1780 to 12 March 1850. Fort Kongenstein, Ada, 1784 March 1850. Fort Carlsborg, February 1658 to the 16th of April 1659, the 22nd of April 1663 to the 3rd of May 1664. Cape Coast Castle, Kong, Cape Coast, 1659 to 24 April 1661. Fort Fredericksborg, a manful or a Monfro, 1659 to 16 April 1685. Fort William, Ghana, in a 1657 to 1659. Small base near Ningo from 1784 to 1850. Topic: Americas. Topic: Greenland 1814 to 1979. Greenland was settled by immigrants from Iceland and Norway in the Viking Age after its discovery by Eric the Red in 995 or 996. Medieval Greenland was a bishopric with 22 churches and two convents under the Archdiocese of Nidaros. 
In 1261 the Greenlanders became subjects of the Kingdom of Norway With the ratification of the Kalmar Union in 1397, Denmark-Norway inherited Greenland. After the Norse settlement in Greenland finally disappeared in the 15th century, Europeans did not settle the island again until 1721, when the Lutheran minister Hans Egede arrived and established the town now known as Nuuk. After Norway was ceded to the King of Sweden in 1814 following the Napoleonic Wars, Denmark retained the old territorial claims as a condition of the Treaty of Kiel. The development and settlement of Greenland accelerated in 1945, instigated by the region's geostrategic importance in the Cold War era, itself exemplified and manifested by the U.S. air base of Thule from 1943. Another reason and driving force was the emergence of fundamental technical abilities, such as aircraft and icebreakers at Greenland's disposition, giving the otherwise remote island a supply situation somewhat similar to Europe. Danish West Indies 1666 Denmark Norway acquired the island of St. Thomas in 1671 and St. Jan in 1718, and bought St. Croix from France in 1733. All of the island's economies were based primarily on sugar. These islands were known as the Danish West Indies and were eventually sold to the United States in 1917 for $25 million. Several Danish-American succession talks had been made since 1870 due to a rising number of riots and unrest from the poorer English-speaking population. The Zal government 1914 held a heavily boycotted election for Danish mainland constituencies, which produced a minority for the sale of the islands. The United States hoped to use them as naval bases. Since 1917, the islands have been known as the U.S. Virgin Islands. Asia Denmark maintained a scattering of small colonies and trading posts throughout the Indian subcontinent from the 17th to 19th centuries, after which most were sold or ceded to Britain which had become the dominant power there. The most important economic aspect was spice trade and access to the East Asian area, including Imperial China situated farther to the east. Tranquebar The colony at Trankbar modern day, was kept for over 200 years, with a few interruptions, until it was sold to the British in 1845. Sri Rampur In 1755 Denmark acquired the Frederiksnagor now Sri Rampur, and later the towns of Akne and Piripur. They are located about 25 km north of Calcutta. In 1818 Sri Rampur College was established in Sri Rampur, which still exists today. These towns were also sold to Britain in 1845. <laughs> Nicobar Islands 1756 There were also colonization attempts of the Nicobar Islands, called Frederiksorn Frederick Islands, or NY Denmark, New Denmark, by the Danes between 1754 and 1868. Atlantic Topic: Faroe Islands, 1380-1536-1814 present. As with Greenland, Denmark-Norway inherited the medieval Norwegian claims to the Faroe Islands as the successor state to Norway. The Faroes had become part of the Kingdom of Norway in 1035. After Norway was given to Sweden after the Napoleonic Wars, Denmark retained the Faroes as a condition of the Treaty of Kiel. Status as a Danish county ended in 1948, and the Faroes were given a large degree of independence within the Kingdom of Denmark. Topic: Iceland 1380-1536-1814-1944. As with Greenland and the Faroe Islands, Norwegian claims to Iceland were inherited by Denmark-Norway. Also, like those possessions, Iceland was retained by Denmark at the Treaty of Kiel. A growing independence movement in Iceland led to Denmark granting it home rule in 1874 and expanding that home rule in 1904. 
In 1918 Iceland became a fully sovereign kingdom, titled the ''Kingdom of Iceland'' in personal union with Denmark. During Nazi Germany's occupation of Denmark 1940, the Republic of Iceland was declared on June 17, 1944 after the result of a referendum. <laughs> Europe <laughs> Danish Estonia 1206 In the 13th–14th centuries, Denmark ruled parts of what is now Estonia. The colony was initially named the Duchy of Estonia Danish, Estland, and is retrospectively called Danish Estonia by historians. <laughs> Bishopric of Courland In 1559 the Bishop of Courland and Osel Week Johannes V von Munchausen sold his lands to the King Frederick II of Denmark for $30,000. The Danish king gave the territory to his younger brother Duke Magnus of Holstein. After Magnus of Livonia died in 1583, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth invaded his territories in the Bishopric of Courland and Frederick II of Denmark decided to sell his rights of inheritance. In 1645, Sarama was ceded from Denmark to Sweden by the Treaty of Bromsebro. Topic: <inaudible> Shetland Islands and Orkney Islands, 1380 to 1469. After which they were pawned to the King of Scotland, as the Danish king couldn't pay a dowry for the marriage of his daughter to the Scottish king's son. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Loss of colonies. The loss of the colonies was caused by a lack of resources. Eventually Denmark sold its colonies in India to Britain. Topic: <inaudible> Legacy. Greenland and the Faroe Islands are the last remaining colonies. Greenland's colonial status ceased in 1953 and it became an integral part of the Kingdom of Denmark. It gained home rule in 1979 and further autonomy, including self-determination, in 2009. Likewise, the pharaohs were incorporated into the kingdom in the 18th century, with the status of a county, and then given home rule in 1948. References Further reading Peterson, Mikkel van Borg 2013. Luxus, Forbrug og Kolonier i Danmark i det 18. R100. KBH, Museum Tusculanum. ISBN 978-87-635-4076-6. External links List of Danish colonial possessions <laughs>